Hi guys, my name is Anne. Thank you so much for joining me. I wanted to talk about the energies that are happening right now. And the best way I can describe it is at one moment feeling um, completely elevated, connected to higher self, um, divinely guided, um, extraordinarily supported, working and manifesting pretty much everything that I can uh, creatively create um, in those times when um, I'm using the downtime to allow, to relax, to go into the heart space and to really lessen my thinking. And then on the opposite extreme, and sometimes these vary within even a day or hours it seems, is there is this energy of um, uh, restriction, I want to call it, restriction of holding back, of past patterns coming up, of uh, tra uh, traumas, remembering things that uh, we may have felt people did to us, um, stopping us from moving forward, things we put up with, and questioning our self-confidence and our ability and then not taking action. So it is really a huge fluctuation between these two extremes. And it's quite interesting because really so much of this process is around balance, a balance of so many different aspects of ourself. So this is really a conversation within ourself, one of uh, the ego, one of uh, driven by the mind and the desire to succeed that is uh, not wanting this peaceful calmness approach. And the other, of course, is this uh, space we've opened through a tremendous amount of shadow work, through uh, repeated cycles of uh, releasing uh, toxic energy and behavior from um, within ourselves and to understand more about our energies. And knowing that uh, when we do that, we're allowing uh, more information to come in and flow through to us. And uh, we feel the support and the guidance and the synchronicity in the things we do. So um, it's, it's, it's kind of fascinating, this juggle between really understanding and it, it's, it's, it's it's a bit of an art in a way because uh, the whole new realm, the five dimensional perspective is really such a different way of operating because it is completely opposite to the way that has been ingrained in us um, from a very feeling perspective to a very feeling perspective, which is one of um, allowing and feeling and just I'm continuing to uh, create that picture, create that piece of art for yourself, for your vision, for the future, whatever that may be. And um, as we envision and as we create and as we apply our energy to that endeavor, and as we remove the energy from the old uh, neural networks of patterning, of mind-based critical thinking, of um, really a lot of the uh, mind thought process uh, can be geared towards really uh, control and man micromanaging and pushing everything in a certain direction to reach a specific target and goal. So it's, you know, I spent a lot of years actually in, in project management and in planning and um, I certainly am very familiar with the scrutiny and the value of you know a process. Uh, however, I can tell you that that is completely uh, flipped on me. So there is value in understanding at this point in time where I'm at in my particular journey, uh, the end result and um, really opening up yourself to all the possibilities. So. We limit ourselves through our belief systems, uh, part of the release process that many of us have been through. Um, these, again, these cycles of a release have 
um, taught us that we just need to have a, a, a vision. We need to create in our own minds the new the new Anne, right? The new perspective on who you are now. And I can tell you uh, where I'm sitting uh, at this particular moment in time, yes, well, I have come um, a 180. I mean, it, it is, uh, you know, at some point I'll, I'll put a picture of where I was five years ago and I would have never ever thought that this was possible. So uh, it certainly has not been an easy journey and many, 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 many countless times I wanted to give up. But I'm a little on the tenacious side and um, you know, I was given a second chance at life. So a part of my, uh, I think part of my mission here is to do uh, my donor justice and um, this person is, you know, part of this journey with me. And, uh, you know, what the heck? Like, if we're able to uh, recreate our lives, if we're able to think our way, to feel our way, I should say, uh, through to um, higher frequencies, into higher understandings, into, um, not only tapping into what is being presented from a scientific perspective, but also what is being presented to us from a metaphysical perspective. Um, so much of that is still under scrutiny, but uh, you know, it's becoming, the lines are becoming extremely blurred. And I can tell you in my own experience that this whole idea of um, sort of the, me the metaphysical, what we can't see, what the, where our energies and frequencies are actually um, moving into, what we're feeling energetically in our bodies, there's being a whole shift. Um, and within uh, the medical field as well, I mean, there has to be certainly some changes involved there. But I can tell you it is, uh, a process it really really is and you have to really take on this belief system because we have been ingrained and it's being you know shoved down our throat For me personally I, I do not uh, watch television at all or actually even listen to the radio uh, certainly uh, I associate with people who are having their own very own opinions on what is happening and I allow them to I usually don't say too much once in a while, I might pipe in with a comment or two, but um, they are on their own journey and have their own ability to make their own choices and decisions. But uh, I, I had to block all that out because I'm a highly sensitive person and uh, I really needed to understand things from my own inner uh, perspective without this uh, dialogue that really in the case of uh, television, I mean, to me, there is no value at all in it. It is, uh, it's just an agenda. It's a propaganda machine. So that is my own particular opinion on that. Uh, but we continue on this journey and it is fascinating. It is a discovery of self. I mean, we really have to uh, step out of the energetic dialogue that is overbearing everything and realize that there is higher energy, there is a higher frequency, there is a new perspective that is currently um, available to all of us. It really depends on your real desire, your will to move in that direction to believe that it exists and to embrace a different side of yourself, one based on uh, something you can't actually uh, wrap your mind around, right? So it is uh, one that is with you and you feel this energy uh, around you and surrounding you and supporting you and your life is more based on intent. So creating uh, through pure intention, you know, um, through visualization, through really moving your head into 
whatever it is you feel like creating, right? So it's a whole different world and we move back and forth, like I said at the beginning, between the two. And the ego isn't exactly excited about this peaceful way of operating and manifesting. So it's trying to remind you of things to take you back into the rut, into the old neural network. Um, but this is where we have to sort of create this balance or remember the balance of rest versus action and listening um, you know, um, to yourself and understanding uh, where you need to stop versus go and, and, and truly, again, listening to what your inner dialogue, your inner uh, self, your higher self is, is telling you and acting on that. And it's really definitely more about flow than worry. And worry is certainly an energy that is um, on the table as well. But um, I'm totally guilty of that. I mean, I suffered through a great deal of depression and anxiety. I had PTSD. Um, I was, I mean, I was strung out. I was, you know, um, it's, it's a, not a fun place to be, but it is um, overcomable if you separate yourself from those people who are not meant to be in your energetic space anymore and really dive in to your own inner world, your own understanding of self and your own very own perspective. So keep on this journey because it's quite, um, if anything else, it's fascinating. Uh, time is becoming blurred. Days are meshing together, um, but we just continue to keep growing and expanding from our heart space, right? From love, from the inner self, from, from being within, not here, but from in here and connecting the two together is critical to come back to your body, to deep breathing, to um, a healthy prosperous um, perspective to being an energetic being to being an intuitive being to really um, allowing and surrendering to this new world and it is I want to say new world to this um, new earth to this new perspective to this new way of operation and you know keep going because you will see that it works and whatever I have done and I'm sharing with you in case I can help someone else here but is worth it uh, the moments of the of the divine highness are far outweighing the moments of the the low so that's what I have for you today and uh, we will definitely talk soon bye